dog. All of a sudden, he picks up the leash and starts swinging the dog over his head. The store manager runs up to him frantically and asks, Excuse me, sir, but what are you doing? The blind man replies, Oh, I'm just having a look around. <laughs> All right. All joking aside, blindness is a problem that affects many people. People like Eric Selby, who has for over two decades had to deal with blindness and has had to use a seeing eye dog to walk around, as relayed by the Huffington Post article from, 2000, from 2011 of February 14th. WHO.INT from June 2012 says that he's not alone. 285 million people around the world suffer from some sort of vision impairment, and of those people, 39 million are blind. Fortunately, there's hope. Um, fortunately, there's hope. There are two new bioretinal technologies on the market right now that will hopefully help to relay their blindness and help treat them. I'm going to tell you a little bit about one of the diseases that's out there that causes this blindness called menial menial degeneration menial degeneration and the two technologies that can help combat that so let's go on to first one menial degeneration 101 so i went to go look up what menial degeneration was and according to the september 2009 article from nei.nih.gov the official website of the national eye institute menial degeneration is the degeneration of the menia that really cleared it up for me, too. <laughs> I thought it'd be a better idea to start by telling you what the menia is. The menia is made up of millions of tiny cells that sense light and are able to make the vision clear and perfect and described in your mind. So the, this is the most sensitive part of the retina, and the retina's job is to actually send signals from, from your eye that go through the light and turn them into electric signals and then send them to the optic nerves and then straight to your brain. Your brain then converts these signals into visions. So these are the images you see. So the light that bounces off me goes into your eyes, is interpreted by your retina, and then goes to your brain. So you lucky people get a clear vision of me. <laughs> now, if your menia is damaged or degenerated, then all you're going to see is a big giant blob standing in front of you. Or worst case scenario, you guys won't get to see me at all. <laughs> so sad. But luckily, there's hope. One of the new technologies that's come out of the market is the Argus tube. A medgadget.com article from March 3rd, 2011 tells us that the Argus tube, a technology that's available only in the European Union, is made up of a small camera, transmitters that are on glasses, and a wireless computer. The computer interprets these images from the wireless camera and sends them to the, the retinal part of your, of your eye. The retina is then the healthy parts of your retina are then generated and send these images to the optical nerves and then to your brain. The brain gets these images as flashes of the light, so they get to see an outline of the image. It's not as great as the clear image, but it, it's good enough. However, the people that do need to use the ret the, this retinal device have to learn how to interpret these flashes of light. So if you see three dots, you're going to have to know that that's a triangle. Although the Argus 2 is a very crude form of technology, it's leaps and bounds over anything we thought we'd be able to do before. However, it does come with a hefty sum, $100,000. That's a lot to pay, but for something as priceless as your vision, I think it's rather worth it. Now, the Argus 2 is going to have to compete with a new recent technology out on the market. And when I say recent, I mean recent. A Ju July 16th, 2012 article, so that's two days ago, guys, came out with a new technology from ret nano retina called bioretinal glasses. Um, PopSci.com tells us that these bioretinal glasses say that for people that are suffering with blindness, they'll be able to read a book, recognize people's faces, and even watch TV. Now that's something that blind people never thought they'd be able to do before. A July 16, 2012 article on TechLusion.com tells us that these glasses work in four easy steps. So step one is to actually put on the glasses. On these glasses is a tiny laser that comes with a tiny battery and working lenses that actually help people that have additional issues like astigmatism and nearsightedness. The laser is then put through your eye, and it's an infrared laser, laser, which means it's invisible, so it doesn't affect your sight. And this laser actually stimulates the photovoltaic cells that are in, in your retina. The third step is for the photoreceptors in your retina to actually take the light and convert it into images in your mind. And they're put in a grayscale, so it's not the clear color vision that you get, but it's a grayscale image. Finally, the fourth step is for electrodes to penetrate the retina, stimulate the neurons, and send this image to your mind. 
So it's basically like seeing all over again. Maybe it's a little bit like colorblindness, but it's better than nothing. The uh, technology.com article from February 12, 2011 states that these glasses, although they are not in the market, go on human clinical trials as early as 2013. We never thought we'd be able to see something as big as this. And smartplanet.com from June 26, 2012 <laughs> lets us know that, um, that these glasses are actually leaps and bounds over the Argus 2 technology. So these glasses are not an invasive procedure, meaning that you don't have to go through four hours of surgery like you do with the Argus 2. And you don't have to spend like four hours under full anesthesia, which is a risk enough as it is. These glasses are just simple. You put them on. Another thing about these glasses is that your vision is instantaneous. So although there is an implant in your eye, it's a less invasive procedure and your vision is instantaneous. And you have about a week that you need to recover, which is not bad at all. And these miracle vision glasses are a bargain compared to the Argus 2 technology. They're only $60,000. So much cheaper. I jumped to buy them. So now that I've told you guys a little bit about the technology that's available on the market, one of the diseases that it's able to combat and the, another technology that's coming out onto the market, I'm going to go back to Eric Selby, who actually got the Argus 2 implant. He says that it's been able to improve his life in ways he never thought it could before. He can take a simple walk now down the street and see what he can see. Although it's not the images that he used to have two decades ago, it's much better than anything he could have ever imagined. Eric Selby says that without, without this technology, his life would never be the same.